Hello people, welcome back. Today's show quest is all about my new overworld gold farm. You can see it here in the, on the screen. Um, it's totally built in 1.8 survival. Everything done by hand and only done by me. Um, it, a, it has a pretty cool new design and principle behind the farm. And the most important thing, besides a huge amount of gold I put it, is this is a completely automatic AFK experience farm with pretty insane rates. As you can see, I'm currently at 182 levels, <laughs> uh, 87 levels, and that's super easy to achieve. Okay, I'll get, like, go get down here and we see uh, it's back in the, on the top of the farm. Okay, here we are, back on top of the farm. The only access to this farm is with the portals up here on top and um, we can only access the farm from the nether and we the inside of the farm is on the corners of four sides here and here and here and down the middle you can already see that there is the FK position and up here is the storage room. Um, sadly at the moment you can't really see much because of the portals and you can't really see what's going on because of that I made a few changes in the d uh, resource packs. Um, I removed the portal blocks and I cleared up the glass and you can see it's a this gold farm consists of four tubes 32 blocks long <laughs> out of obsidian. That makes this farm a 128 portal gold farm with a layout of um, 23 by 22. It's a little odd number because it makes it easier for the gas to, to wipe through. Um, and what basically happens is inside this tube pigments will spawn at a high efficient rate because of the immense size of the portals and once the farm is turned on this, these gas will sweep all the um, pigmen op uh, out of the tube into a water canal system that channels everything down to the center here in the middle and um, as this I show it in action so let's t quickly turn the farm on the on switch is <laughs> of course up on top here it is on the leg. It's because they, um, there are now four clocks running. So this is necessary so that the um, gas uh, drive on a slower speed than they usually would. As you can see, that's, this is clearly not the, the fast speed of a powered minecart, but a really slow speed. That's because of um, the power rails are getting um, practically turned on and off with a clock, with a, a tool tick clock, and that allows the gas to uh, drive slowly from one side to the other, and take nearly all Pikmin with them. And uh, sometimes they glitch through when the Pikmin have the AI pathfinding on for whatever reasons, but um, they get speed swept by the by the next two and by the next pass. And of course this happens for all four sides periodically. And once they get flushed to the middle, there are is the killing chamber. As you can see right now there are tons of Pikmin already. That's are those that um, collected while we are while I was working recording this. So let's get down here and uh, let's see how many experience we already got. Oh, it's already nice. <laughs> the amount for 187. <laughs> Still increasing. It's, it's insane. <laughs> what happens in 1.8 is that iron golems use some somehow uh, cause monsters that they kill to drop rare loot. In this case, um, by the zombie pigments, gold bars and swords and of course you also get then experience points from them. So I summoned um, 12 or 14 iron golems in this small parameter and um, 
All pigments get flushed right to, uh, to it. So there are some hoppers under the soul sand. Let's collect all loot. And a uh, simple uh, item elevator transports everything to the storage, that, uh, storage room up there. That's that's basically it. Is. <laughs> that's all. That's all. That's that's all the fun, and it's insane. And it's it's super easy. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. This farm. Uh, turn it off and take a quick look to the redstone behind it. All right, here's the entrance to the maintenance area, and that's what it is. <laughs> Let's see all the redstone behind it. We have some powered rails along here and uh, four, four power rails lines with four minecarts with ghasts in them. And then, let me get in here quick. It's a bit messy. <laughs> you, you aren't supposed to be in here. This little clock will turn on with a switch of the lever upstairs and um, rapidly pulse this, um, this redstone lines and causing the minecart to slowly travel along this path. And once it's the lever is turned back uh, off, the, this line becomes a totally powered line and allows the minecarts to travel back into the um, starting position so that the farm doesn't break when you load or reload uh, the world. And all four sides are mirrored to exactly the same thing. <laughs> And it's, it's such an easy and simple concept. I had the idea of the uh, gas sweepers uh, by the last zip crowd surfer uh, tour video I saw with the wither whipper. A really, really awesome design. And I had this idea stuck in my head and I just had to realize it. <laughs> the rates are pretty insane. I get like, um, this is set up as it is now, I get a hundred there's basically three stacks of gold bars in one hour <laughs> and uh, nearly 100 levels. So now that you have seen everything um, behind this farm, it, I think it's time for some testing. For example, how long does it take to reach level 30 from level 0? Um, and I'm going to do some testing in this soon. I think we should just get started and I get rid of the levels. <laughs> just <laughs> just joking, I'm going to do some enchanting. Um, I see you when I have done that. And I'm back. I managed to have some pretty sweet uh, enchantments like this Smite 5 and Breaking 3 Loot 3 book and this Silk Touch uh, pick book. <laughs> pretty sweet enchants. And I'm down to sl slightly below one level. So let's see the over to the farm that would be in this, uh, in this direction. Um, that enchanting definitely took longer than um, the items, the experience uh, uh, balls need to uh, despawn. And we were far enough away that no, uh, the old pigment should have despawned. So the f farm is pretty much reset. And we can get a good estimate of how long it will take to get to level 13, alright. Let's start this farm up. Ah, a bit laggy. Let's see if everything is running as it should. Those are... Those are... Those are alright. Yeah, one should run as well. And we go down to our FK spot. And let's see how long it takes.
that's it. <laughs> Slightly under two minutes. I don't have the exact time now. I'm, I'm going to edit uh, with the uh, video editing. <laughs> Slightly under two minutes for a few full level 30 enchantment. <laughs> for level 30, uh, for 30 levels. That's awesome. For and you have to do nothing. You just stand there and get the experience. I, I, for me personally, I think this is the the, the um, <laughs> this is the best experience farm anyone could ever build. <laughs> and the best thing about it is these are four modules and you can basically stack them up into the air as far as you want, at least not long not more than 128 blocks up, or the most will instantly despawn Pikmin. Um, but it's you can go bigger. <laughs> I can't because my computer can't handle it. Right now it's more or less the maximum my PC can handle it. Uh, not the newest one. <laughs> I should definitely get a new one. But it's it's fine for now. <laughs> this farm works perfectly. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.